Okay. Well, I did not get the job in New York, but I got the real prize, domestic bliss. Jan made me breakfast this morning. Well, she bought the milk. It's soy. This is why I do it. That's what I have to come home to. She probably won't be up for a few hours. This is going to be a very good year. Very good. Jan is at home. Jim is back. My protege Ryan is a corporate. Good stuff. Um, Andy and Dwight are rocking the sales team. I feel very blessed. I told Dwight that there is honor in losing, which as we all know is completely ridiculous, but there is however honor in making a loser feel better, which is what I just did for Dwight. Would I rather be feared or loved? Um, easy, both. I want people to be afraid of how much they love me. And I think I proved that today at the dojo. Me walking Phyllis down the aisle was supposed to be the highlight of the wedding. And now, the wedding has no highlight. I can't believe I pushed that, that guy's lazy ass around all day until he was ready to stand up and steal the show. That's, well, I got news for you, Albert. That's your real name. The show's not over. Your branch has been doing great lately, and your sales staff is reporting very strong numbers. Outperforming last year, in fact. Um, and I don't know exactly how to put this, but what are you doing right? Right what? Utica, Albany, all the other branches are struggling, but your branch is reporting strong numbers. Look, you're not our most traditional guy, but clearly something you are doing is right. and. I just, I need to get a sense of what that is. David, here it is. My philosophy is basically this, and this is something that I live by, and I always have, and I always will. Don't ever, for any reason, do anything to anyone, for any reason, ever, no matter what, no matter where, or who, or who you are with, or, or where you are going, or, or where you've been, ever, for any reason whatsoever. Sometimes I'll start a sentence, and I don't even know where it's going. I just hope I find it along the way, like an improv conversation, an improvisation. Coming. Hello. What are you doing here? We came here to eat dinner and to party. This is a dinner party, right? Awesome. What is he doing here? Yes, what are you doing here? Dwight is my friend. We weren't invited? You said that I could not invite Dwight because he was not part of a couple and because we didn't have enough wine glasses. Dwight brought glasses and a person. Fine. So, whatever you want. Just like always. Whatever you want. Whatever I want. It's never whatever I want. When I wanted to see Stomp and you wanted to see Wicked, what did we see? We saw... We, 
when I said that I wanted to have kids and you said that you wanted me to have a vasectomy, what did I do? And then oh, when you said that you might want to have kids and I wasn't so sure, who had the vasectomy reversed? And then when you said you definitely didn't want to have kids, who had it reversed back? Snip, snap, snip, snap, snip, snap. I did. Okay. You have no idea the physical toll the three vasectomies have on a person. And I bought this condo to okay. fill with children. I am so sorry that I don't want to bring kids into this screwed up world, okay? I'm but look, too. if you want to have kids, then fine, you win. <laughs> Let's have a kid. Do you mean it? you want to have a kid? Oh, Daryl, you are a good worker and a good man. I just, you know, times are tight. And I just don't think corporate's going to go for this right now. Are you wearing lady clothes? What? Are you wearing lady clothes? Those look like lady pants. No. This is a power suit. That there's a woman's suit. I do not <laughs> buy women's clothes. Would not make that mistake again. I'm gonna call Roy, man. Okay. This is gonna make you right. feel better. <laughs> this is too good. All right. You know what? <laughs> Pam, would you please tell Daryl that this is not a woman's suit? Oh my God, that's a woman's suit. You're wearing a woman's suit? No, I do. I I wear men's suits. Okay. I got this out of a bin. Who makes it? Um. Mysterious. And it is mysterious because the buttons are on the wrong side. That's the mystery. Yes, it's got shoulder pads. Did you see that line? Okay. Did you see that? Would you stop it, please? <laughs> so, none of that tipped you off. It's European, okay? It's a European cut. Michael, the pants don't have any pockets. No, they don't. See? <laughs> Italians don't wear pockets. It's been a really rough couple of days. This helps a little. Hey, maybe you want to come over and read my closet. No, I don't want to do that because I'm twice your size anyway. Yeah, you look uh, like Hillary Clinton. Um, let's just do this in 15 minutes, okay? okay? Can you stay right there for one second? I gotta send some emails. Negotiations are all about controlling things, about being in the driver's seat. And you make one tiny mistake, you're dead. I made one tiny mistake. I wore woman's clothes. Phyllis. You're a wonderful woman. And you're a hell of a bowler. <laughs> Cheers. 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 Thank you, Randy. That was great. Thank you. Thank you very much. Hi, I'm Michael Scott. And for the next 40 minutes, I am going to be your tour guide through the lives of Phyllis Lappin and Bob Vance. One of the great, seemingly impossible love stories of our time. My name is Michael Scott. Webster's Dictionary defines wedding as the fusing of two metals with a hot torch. Well, you know something? I think you guys are two metals, gold medals. For those of you who don't know me, I'm Michael Scott, Phyllis's boss. To quote from The Princess Bride, marriage. The most important part of a speech is the opening line. And when time is not a factor, I like to try out three or four different ones. Phyllis and Bob, their celebrity couple name would be Flob. You look at her, and she's kind of matronly today. But back in high school, I swear, her nickname was Easy Rider. Now, as for Bob, Bob Vance well, okay, is that's a enough. guy Thanks. that Thanks, Give me he one. works. Oh, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Look, look. Um, I didn't say anything when Phyllis's dad upstaged me at the ceremony, and I think you owe me this. Okay. Give me the microphone. No, I'm not going. Give me, to, okay? give me the microphone. Okay. Okay. Right. It's okay. Okay. Good. You're out of yeah, here. Yeah, you're out of here. here. You're. I hate you. There's somebody I'd like you to meet, somebody else who has been to prison, who can tell you what it is really like. I'm Prison Mike. You know why they call me Prison Mike? 
do you really expect us to believe you're somebody else? Do you really expect me to not push you up against the wall, biatch? Oh, wow. Yes. Yes. All right, hey, 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 that's just the way we talk in the clink. Been a lot of fun talk about prison today, but I am here to scare you straight. I am here to scare you straight! In prison, you are somebody's bitch. Oh, and you. You, my friend, would be the belle of the ball. Don't drop the soap. Don't drop the soap. Michael, please. Where did you learn all of this? Internet. So not the prison. And prison, it's 50-50. Both. Look, prison stinks, is what I'm saying. It's not like you can go home and recharge your batteries and come back in the morning and be with your friends having fun in the office. What'd you do, Prison Mike? I stole, and I robbed, and I kidnapped the president's son and held him for ransom. That is quite the rap sheet, Prison Mike. And I never got caught, neither. Well, you were in prison, but, mm -hmm. Prison Mike, what was the food like in prison? Gruel, sandwiches, gruel omelets, nothing but gruel. Plus, you can eat your own hair. Wow. Prison sounds horrible. Yeah, yeah. Well, thank you, Andy. Thanks. Prison Mike, what's the very, very worst thing about prison? Don't encourage him, don't. The worst thing about prison was the, was the Dementors. They were flying all over the place and they were scary and then they'd come down and they sucked the soul out of your body and it hurt. De Dementors like in Harry Potter? No, not Harry Potter. Hey, Ryan. Can I get you a pencil from the warehouse? Uh, no thanks, I'm good. Well, it's okay, I'm going down. Um, oh. Yeah, absolutely. All right, I'll be right back. Thank you. You're welcome. Michael, could you get me a pen from down in the warehouse? Don't mind if I do. Uh, <laughs> see you in a minute. Okay. <laughs> Woo! There you go, fresh from the warehouse. Hey, Michael, huh. would you get me some coffee from the warehouse? There's coffee in the kitchen, Pam. But the warehouse coffee tastes so much better. Yes, yeah. it's better. All right. It's great. All right. Okay. I'm like Bette Midler in For the Boys. I've got to keep the troops entertained. With cream and sugar? Okay. All right.